do you have pricing plans uh, in mind yet? I'm sure you do. Could you share them with us from a customer perspective? How much more do I need to pay for my 5G service versus my 4G service? Well, for the industrial use cases, I think uh, pricing will not be so relevant. It will be really solution-oriented, and you will uh, price it for solutions. People will take on industrial level, enterprise level, and those programs are very different. If your question is, what will it mean for you as a customer or everybody else here, I think not a meaningful change. You will consume more data, therefore you'll end up paying a little bit more. And frankly, if India has to be a digital nation, you need healthy telecom companies. They are the backbone, the spine of the digital connectivity. And the current uh, tariffs, and I've said this many times before, are still very, very low. For two and a half dollars, when I tell around the globe that you can take 60 gigabytes of data a month, they're absolutely horrified and shocked that how can you even survive in that atmosphere? We do, as you know. But do we need to go to $40, $50 like the Western world? No. Maybe we need to get to $3, $4. And if 5G can do that, it will only make the industry more sustainable, be allowed to sort of put more money into innovation and investment, get more use cases faster. And I think there'll be a very small cost to pay. Distributed cost for over a billion people paying dollar, dollar and a half at the upper end to make this industry but more can stable. I play devil's advocate for a moment and ask you, while it's true that the average revenue per user in India is much lower than internationally, the fear is that now that there are only three operators left, could we be entering a situation in the 5G era where because of cartelization or group action, uh, customers have to pay much more than they've got used to? Well, I think it's very hard to do that in a country like India, and you don't need to. I would say at uh, nearly 200 rupees ARPU that we are reaching, we have come back into profitability. Even though the return on capital deployed is very low, but you are in profitability. So if you get a, another dollar, I think that will do the job. That's all you need. And even in that, you will have a pack of 100 rupees at the low end. So a common man can just pay 100 rupees on 5G and still be connected and have a reasonable amount of data. But people like many of them sitting here can pay 500 rupees. I don't see any reason why you need to subsidize across the uh, whole uh, bandwidth of spectrum or spectrum of uh, customers to make it at a point where it hurts. We know why we went down on the pricing. Six years back, the average revenue was 240 rupees. We are below uh, that six years later in real terms, not in nominal terms, which is odd. Costs have gone up, diesel has gone up, electricity has gone up, equipment has gone up, dollar is at 80 rupees uh, now. So everything is against the industry's cost structure yet we are not even at the same pricing as we were six years back. Now, in the 5G auctions that were concluded recently, you spent about 43,084 crore rupees to pick up 19.8 gigahertz of spectrum. Uh, Geo spent 88,078 crore rupees to pick up 24.7 gigahertz of spectrum. Vodafone spent much lesser, 18,800 odd crore rupees to pick up 6.2 gigahertz per spectrum. What does that mean for customers sitting here? Does that mean because of additional spectrum, almost twice of what you have, uh, could your competitor, Geo, have potentially better 5G services than yours? No, no. First of all, we must understand why extra money was spent, they picked up 10 megahertz of 700 gigahertz. Now that's an extra chunk of spectrum that they desperately needed. What was the choice? Use for your uh, you know, uh, base uh, spectrum band, which we call the uh, base of a 5G network. You take an 1800 uh, uh, megahertz, you take a 900 or 800 or 700. So they had to buy something. Whereas we have been smartly assembling uh, Spectrum for a long period of time. We bought Tata's, we bought Telenor, we took Spectrum from Videocon, we took Spectrum from Aircell. So we have added a ton of Spectrum as we went ahead, went into auctions, bought more Spectrum. And I think we clearly knew where we were headed. So we have uh, uh, added a lot of mid-band Spectrum and we didn't need the 700. For uh, Geo, they either had to buy 800, which was not available, there was not enough, or they had to buy 700. This was there for a need for them to do it. It was not need for us to do it. Our 5G services will be best in class, not only just in India, but anywhere in the world. 